Hello, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we mainly talk about how to charge the battery with our RD power supply. It is easy for some customers, but for some new customers who use power supply to charge battery for the first time, uh, they may not be familiar with the battery charging function. So that we make this video to teach you how to charge the battery. Okay, uh, first we need to know that different battery has different charging voltage. Uh, even the same battery, if you use several series of battery, you need to multiple the charging voltage. And uh, for this, you can check the menu. At the bottom of the menu, you can see there is a recommend charging voltage for different kind of battery. Uh, you need to follow this, or you can just Google it, uh, check the battery charging voltage for your battery, like lithium battery, lead acid battery, uh, just uh, check it. And uh, for the charging current, uh, it depends on the battery capacity. Normally, we recommend to use it under uh, half C of the battery. Normally, the C means the capacity of the battery, like a, a 2 ampere-hour battery. Then 0 0.5 C is 1 ampere to charge. And uh, if you want to charge the battery uh, safer, uh, you can set it 10% C, which is, uh, in the, for this battery, it is uh, 200 milliampere to charge it. Okay, uh, now uh, since we already talked about the charging voltage and current for the battery, then it is how to charge it on our RD power supply. Okay, now it is an RD6630. Even though it can output 60 volt and 30 ampere max, uh, we do not use this to charge the battery. Uh, some customer will think that uh, I just set up high voltage and high current, the charging will be faster. Uh, it is wrong. You need to charge it according to the battery. Okay. Uh, this is a leasing battery, so that I uh, I set 4.2 volt. Uh, you need to know it is for a single battery. Uh, if you charge two lithium battery in series, you need to uh, set for uh, 8.2, 8.4. Uh, this is uh, charging voltage. And the current it depends on the battery, like I said before. Then for the terminal, you can see I use the uh, uh, black terminal as negative terminal. But for the output, the positive terminal, there are two positive terminals. The green terminal is for battery charging. Uh, it has all kind of protection, like reverse connection protection, uh, cutoff current setting, and cutoff temperature setting. If you set a 10 volts over the battery voltage, uh, it will show set error for this. Uh, the red terminal, you can also charge the battery. Uh, but in this way, there is no any protection. If you reverse the connection, uh, the battery voltage will burn the fuse. Uh, and uh, for battery with protection board, uh, there, there is a note that uh, you use the green terminal, it cannot detect there is battery connected uh, due to the protection board so that uh, you can only use the red terminal to charge the battery with protection board. Uh, in this way, you need to notice the connection, do not reverse the connection. Okay, we we, send, we set the correct voltage and current, we use the correct uh, terminal, and uh, we charge the battery. Okay, turn on the battery. You can see uh, when, it, when the battery is not connected, I will show you that. When the battery is not connected, it is a blue icon and the battery is white. When the battery is connected, uh, the icon turns red. 
and the battery is still white. When it is charging, uh, the icon is red and the battery is green. And some customer will, will tell me that the battery starts charging for a while, but it turns out uh, closed after some time, about 10 seconds. Then you need to check the menu. Okay, you can see there is a battery charger page here. And you can see there is a cutoff current. Here I set a 10 milliampere uh, to cut off the current. You need to know that our power supply use constant current and constant voltage mode to charge the battery. At first, it is constant current. Uh, the current is constant and the voltage will rise into the charging, into the peak voltage. Like this leasing battery, it will return it. You can see now it is CC mode and it is constant current mode. Uh, the charging voltage is 4.2 volt and for now it is 3.7 volt. The current is constant and the voltage will rise into 4.2 volt. And at that time it will turn to CV mode. Uh, the voltage is constant and the current will reduce until a very small value. It does not change. It can, uh, it can be considered that the battery charging uh, can be cut off. Then you just set this value as cut off current. When the current decreases to this value, the current will be, uh, the output will be turn, turned off.